the sword of the spirit, which is the rhema, the rhema. He says, take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the rhema of God. The word of God in your lips being uttered, being spoken, being spoken. Don't be quiet. Keep talking. Keep talking. Doesn't matter how painful it is. Keep talking. The word prevailed in Ephesus. If it prevailed in Ephesus, it will prevail in your body. It will prevail in your family. It will prevail in your city. It will prevail in your nation. And it will prevail, hallelujah, over the world. Glory to God. You have to talk it. If you don't talk it, it will not work. It will not work. You may think it, it still will not work. Thinking it is good. It gives you a consciousness. But that consciousness may not cut in the crisis of life. That's why he told us about the sword in the mouth. All right, the sword in the mouth. Jesus had the sword in his mouth. That's where we have the sword in the mouth. That's important. It says the sword of the spirit, which is the rhema of God. The rhema of God. See, again, it's the spoken word. The spoken word is a spoken word, not the logos. The spoken word. That's the sword of the spirit. That's what parts in the realm of the spirit. See, we're going to do spiritual battle. It's got to be from your mouth. It's coming out from your mouth from your mouth. You declare words upon your city. Words into your city. Into the spiritual atmosphere of your city. Words over your country. Into the atmosphere of your country. You declare words. These words are spiritual missiles. The spiritual missiles. So when the Bible talks about the sword in the mouth, don't think like it's using the, the sword, it's going like this. Oh, no, no, no. The swords are, they are released. They are released. They look like swords. That's why the vision of John, that's the way he saw it. But as he spoke, they're released. Released. Through faith, we understand that the eras were framed. Aye. The times, the ages were framed by the rhema of God. Rhema of God, it means a spoken word. It is that word that God puts in your mouth for the hour to speak. I said he gave them something. He gave them something. That's the word. The spoken word. He gave them the gift to speak that word. The rhema of God. Through faith we understand that the words were framed by the rhema of God. And I, I want you to understand that in the New Testament, it typically doesn't use rhema when it refers to God himself talking. Typically doesn't use rhema. I want you to understand in the New Testament, it typically doesn't use rhema. Rhema is often the word that God speaks through us. Not by himself. So you have to understand here that when he says framed by the word of God, it's not saying God Almighty was framing it. He wasn't doing it. He was doing it through man. He was speaking his word through men who honored his words, who took the word from the mouth of God and they honored it in faith. Through faith, we understand that the words, their errors were framed by the word that they spoke from God. 
So watch and get other related messages from Pastor Chris. Kindly explore the Pastor Chris Digital Library. Available on the Love App Store.